Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday. And thank you guys for joining me talking all things WWE Superstars, or of course, uh, Masters Universe. Today on the channel, we're looking at the final figure of the WWE Superstars Origins figure line of Series 1. And then a Bray Wyatt. Uh, we look, we'll take a look at him in the packaging. I only have the one right now, guys. Um, we'll look at him in the packaging, what he all comes with. Uh, of course, the amazing artwork from the front right there and to the back. And we'll go from there, guys. So there we go. Here's old Bray Wyatt here. Unfortunately, a you know a, a life that you know was cut too short. Unfortunately, he did pass away. I think last month, which is very sad. To lose Bray Wyatt, you know a a future Hall of Famer. I have no doubt. You know you know a multiple champion. You know a, a father and a husband. And I believe, and I said this in the review, I mean, last year, yesterday's review, that he, I think he's the son of uh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake. I might be wrong about that. For anybody, I think he might be the son of IRS. One of the two. You know, let me know in the comments if you are a hardcore wrestling fan, you know, and, and you know, and, and Bray Wyatt, uh, let me know. I do think there, he's one of the, you know, uh, you know, of an iconic wrestling, you know, he comes from an iconic, you know, family of wrestlers and stuff like that. But here's Bray Wyatt right here. Of course, you know, it, it, you know, he's got multiple gimmicks and, you know, looks of him, which is really cool. Of course, there he is right there. His glamour shot right there, the figure right there. Includes hat and jacket. Now, of course, he's known for, you know, with the Wyatt family, you know, with the Fireflies. But I don't remember this, like, Mad Hatter, you know, uh, look of him. But, of course, you can see the nice, soft, good, you know, jacket right there. Uh, you know, this big old, you know, bow tie, this red bow tie. I think the hat is removable right there. So, you know, one thing I liked about Bray Wyatt, you know, he's always changing his look, you know, his, you know, his persona. And it worked. I think it was really cool. It does come with, if I can't see, but he does come with extra pairs of hands and stuff like that in the back, guys. Fortunately, I, like I said, I only have the one figure right now. And of course, you know, unfortunately with his passing, you know, his figure did become, you know, a little bit popular, you know, out there. And so he's pretty much now gone for the most part, you know, and on the shelves at Walmart. And it's kind of sad that it takes a, you know, a tragedy like this to get people to go out and buy his figures. Let's look at the back right here. The W Superstars toy line right there. Mine's a little damaged right there, you know, in the corner, but that's fine. The Firefly Funhouse right there. Yowie Wowie. Of course, welcome to the fly the, the Firefly Firefly Funhouse. Let me in. Of course, the cross sell the other figures in series one. And I've done reviews for each and every one of them, guys. Part of series one. Mattel. Alright, guys. There you go. So yeah, you know it's very sad, you know, and he, and he for, unfortunately, he, you know, he passed away at a very young age, and he died, and he passed away the day after, I believe, of another iconic, you know, wrestler of Terry Funk, you know. So we lost two, you know, great performers in this field, you know, in wrestling here, and you know, and who knows how, you know, how far Bray Wyatt's career would have gone, you know, it'd be. Stayed with us, you know. I think he would have been, you know, like multiple champion, you know, singles, you know, competitor champion, and possibly tag team champion. You know, a future Hall of Famer. You know, he had a, you know, he had a lot of cool looks for him. You know, but I, you know, like I said, I don't remember, you know, the the uh, the Mad Hatter uh, look of him. You know. I don't know if that was like a one-off thing or, you know, it was maybe in between the Wyatt family, you know, and then maybe this and, of course, The Fiend, you know. Um, so let me know, guys. Let me know when, you know, he, you know, did this Mad Hatter look, which is pretty cool. I like the fact that you can remove the hat. You know, once again, nice, soft, good fabric for the, you know, for the jacket. Can be removable, you know. Uh, the bow tie, you know, it's kind of crazy. A little bit, you know, it's really big, but, you know, it's fine. For what it is. 
Of course, you know, you know, like all origins figures, it, it, they all stand at that 5.5 scale. You know, you can, they're all, you know, remove, you can remove the arms and legs. They're all fully adjustable from this brand here, from the Superstars brand here to the Master Universe Origins brand. And of course, the Masters of the WWE uh, Universe brand, they're all interchangeable. You can customize them if you wish, you know, how, you know, how far your, you know, your imagination can take you. You know, if you want to put, you know, Bray Wyatt's head on He-Man's body or vice versa, you can, you can do that. You can change up the arms and just be creative and this you know which is one thing i love about the origins you know brand you know another shot of bray wide right here like i said it's unfortunate you know you know a, a life and a career that was cut short you know too sudden you know it was too sudden you know of this amazing performer you know And his, his his toy has you know you know I think it skyrocketed because you know after his unfortunate his his passing you know uh, his figure this figure here you, you know got you know taken off you know it was gone off shelves very quickly you know to pay respects you know I get it you know you want to pay respects to this amazing you know you know person you know this an entertainer you know who entertained us you know for years you know I remember him when he yeah. You know, he was part of the Nexus group with uh, Wade Barrett. Yeah, he had a much different look when he first appeared on WWE. Uh, he had a much, you know, shorter, you know, haircut and stuff like that. He couldn't. I, mean, I, re I remember when I first saw him. He, I think he got injured and he came back with the longer hair and he had that different persona. The Wade, the Wyatt family, with the uh, lantern and you know, of course, the fireflies. You know. Um, I, I didn't recognize recognize him first, you know, because of his long hair and his different look. You know, he like I said, he did a great job changing his, you know, his whole, you know, look and feel of, you know, of the character. And it worked every time, you know, and I think that was, uh, which was really cool, you know, for this character. But there's a nice look once again with Bray Wyatt before we end the video. I wish his hat was a little bit like higher up so I can see his eyes, but but I am happy and that his hat, his hat is removable, you know. Of course, this is one of two Bray Wyatt's I have in my collection. Uh, the other Bray Wyatt, of course, is part of the Masters of WWE universe as the Fiend. He's going to be an upcoming review pretty soon, guys, down the road. So this is my my uh, second, like I said, my second uh, Origins figure of Bray Wyatt. And I hope we, of course, we get more. I hope we hope we get an Ultimate version of Bray Wyatt. You know, all his looks and, you know, and the Ultimate Edition. You know, I think that would be really cool for all the, you know, wrestling collectors out there. The hardcore wrestling collectors, you know. That we get an Ultimate Edition of Bray Wyatt with all his different, you know, a couple of different heads with, with The Fiend and with this one here. Um... But let me know. Also, let me know, guys. Once again, if he's the son of IRS or Brutus the Barber Beefcake, or maybe I might be just totally off completely. But let me know. You know, for all the hardcore wrestling fans out there, I think he is a you know a a, a son of a former uh, wrestling icon in the WWE. But there you go. There is Bray Wyatt. Of course, you know when you put these guys right here, they, when you line them up. Of course, you know they do have that nice, cool. Shot right there, the all connect right there. A nice glamour shot right there of all the figures. Nice artwork right there. All right, guys. All right, guys. Yeah. So this is all series one right here of the Superstars toy line right here from the WWE Superstars. You know, a, a, like I said, a great toy line, but I wish, like, I, I'm going to say it's very, you know, I, I'm kind of like a broken record and I compete. I just wish there was more of a changeover of these figures, you know. You know, let's get some new figures out now, guys. I mean, I'm, you know, they're cool, but I'm just tired of seeing the same figures, you know, like mounting, you know, being peg warmers now. I think it's time. Of course, you know, I want today's November 1st and 
maybe I was wrong or mistaken. Maybe like a lot of you know hardcore collectors are hoping that November first we'll, we'll see the new Origins cartoon toy line uh, out in retail. Now, if you did if you did get the new retail cartoon toy line at, in in your local Walmart or Target, hey, that's amazing. I did not. I went to every Walmart and every Target I have you know near me, and unfortunately, there's nothing, no indication yet. Of when the new filmation Origins toy line will be coming out soon, hopefully very soon, but it did not come out today. Um, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, today, no, today's the first, no, that's Wednesday, yesterday, 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 I went out, sorry guys, I went out yesterday and I could not find anything new on the new Origins uh, filmation brand, um, uh, Skeletor or Man at Arms or He Man or Beast Man. For that first wave, um, let me know if you did get, you know, you're, you know, happy, you know, one of the lucky ones. Maybe they're gonna put it out in one of the bigger cities, and then trickle out the smaller cities. Or I, I or I hope they, they do a massive, you know, uh, delivery of all the new figures in the Masterverse line. I mean, the Origins line. So I'm a little bit bummed about that, but I can wait. You know, it's, you know, I can wait and I can be patient. You know, but it's gonna happen soon. You know, so. Can't wait for that, guys. And uh, also, guys, um, you know, I'm going to take the time now to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video, I'm subscribed. Please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys. All things origins based, like the Superstars line here and the Master Universe. Of course, you know, you know mostly Master Universe. Uh, uh, hit that like button. And thank you for doing that. And I appreciate you doing that. And hit that notification bell when you know I upload new videos. And right now, guys, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the upcoming. Uh, uh, figures that I've, I've been talking about these figures from the past couple of videos now and they finally came in guys so give me one second guys alright I'm going to do my little snap thing here and then I will show you the upcoming figures that we'll be doing on the channel okay so hang on guys as you can see guys I have the new wave of the Masterverse figures I think wave 11 right here I have New Eternia, Man at Arms, right here. Will do be the first review tomorrow on Friday. Next in, we'll be looking at Skeletor, right there. All new box art, guys. Amazing box art. But I'm not too sure about the window box here. We'll look at it, you know, very closely. Of course, we have Sorceress Tila for the Revolution toy line right here. From Netflix right here. And finally, from this wave. We have New Eternia Trap Jaw. Now, what I'm going to do for the review, guys, you know, I'm going to remove them out of the packaging, but I'm going to keep them in their plastic prison. But we can take a much closer look of the figure and all his accessories and stuff like that. Of course, we'll look at the new artwork that you know that has come with them. You know, I, the whole Master Universe has done a full remake or a redo of all their box art, not just with the Masterverse line, you know. But with the Origins line too, so it's all new artwork for all these, you know, Origins and Masterverse, so it, I like that. I really like that. So we'll take a look at each figure throughout the week, starting Friday with New Eternia Man-at-Arms, our third version of Man-at-Arms. You can see he has that, that Lords of Power look right there, that vintage school helmet right there. From, of course, uh, uh, Skeletor. To the third version of, of Tila, her, her sorceress form right here. And of course, the second form, you know, or the second, you know, time we've gotten Trap Jaw from New Eternia line right there. And I hope the mouth is articulated too. I'm going to be very interested to see that it is articulated. But there you go, guys. There's a little sneak peek of all the upcoming figures of, of Wave. I think it's Wave 11, I believe. I might be wrong. Wave 11 or 12. So there you go, guys. There's a nice little sneak peek right there. All right, guys. Let's take the time now. Uh, and, and then once again, like, thank you so much for subscribing. I uh, can't wait to look at these new figures right here in the in our in the, in our collection. Uh, share this video, guys. Who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Masters Universe through the Masters line, of course, the Superstars, you know, WWE toy line as well. The Masters WWE toy, like everything, Mass, you know, or, you know, Mattel has done an amazing job, you know, of all He-Man figures throughout. 40 plus years of this incredible product from Origins to the Masterverse to, you know, 80s to the classics to Super 7s. 
to, you know, 2000X, uh, New Adventures of He-Man 2, you know, everything. I mean, just a, an amazing job. And I can't wait to look at these figures to, tomorrow, starting tomorrow on Friday. So, guys, I hope you guys have a great Thursday. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Take care, guys, and have a good one.